the search for an Earth-like, potentially habitable planet occupies an incomparably important position in the field of space exploration. What has always distinguished our home planet from its galactic neighbors has been its abundant supply of water in liquid form, without which the various terrestrial life forms could never have evolved. However, a sensational discovery from the ranks of NASA now leads us to question the galactic uniqueness of our home. In this video, we show you what extraordinary finds the Space Agency experts have made within the Milky Way and what makes it so special. Are you interested in the countless phenomena, sensational discoveries, and mysterious celestial bodies of our universe? Then subscribe to our channel and make sure you don't miss any of our posts in the future. If you like our content, feel free to give us a thumbs up. We're already looking forward to your feedback in the comments. Now let's begin our journey together into the infinite reaches of space. The Kepler Space Telescope penetrates unexplored worlds. A unique discovery was made by experts in the course of the Kepler mission, which owes its name to the NASA Space Telescope of the same name. As some of you probably already know, the highly complex technical equipment was put into operation in 2009 and then performed its service until October 30th, 2018. The Kepler Space Telescope focused its attention on a very specific section of the firmament in the constellation of Swan. Kepler looked at around 190,000 different stars to search for previously undiscovered exoplanets using the transit method, which examines the brightness profile of a star. The core of this mission, however, was to detect comparatively small and thus possibly habitable planets. Thanks to this sophisticated approach, NASA staff eventually succeeded in adding countless new planets to the star charts. Within this mission, in which more than 2,600 unexplored worlds were located, the experts succeeded for the first time in proving that the Milky Way contains significantly more planets than stars. Although the Kepler Space Telescope ran out of fuel more than two years ago, the actual mission is still not over. In fact, the complex instrument collected so much data in the course of its operation that scientists are currently still busy evaluating the information provided. Does it surprise you how extensive this data processing is? As mentioned, the existence of millions and millions of planets in the Milky Way was proven in the course of data evaluation. The big galactic coup is, it seems that most of these celestial bodies have a solid, rocky surface and could potentially be inhabitable. Within their research, it was particularly those planets approximately as large as Earth that moved into the center of interest. The background to this is that those celestial bodies that exceed the dimensions of our home planet often fall outside the terrestrial grid, since planets on the scale of Saturn or Jupiter are generally gaseous. However, because the potentially life-favoring circumstances on a planet are subject to another important factor, NASA staff observed primarily those stars that are similar in age and properties to our Sun. Since the experts from the U.S. Space Agency did not want to rely blindly on their collected data, they matched their information with the values collected by ESA's Gaia Telescope. Their European colleagues chose a somewhat different approach in their research. Instead of observing the brightness of a star, they examined the energy output of the stars. In this way, the experts can understand how much harmful radiation a star emits into its cosmic environment and whether the corresponding value allows water to exist in a permanently liquid form on surrounding planets. After jointly evaluating the data, the international team of astronomers came to a sensational conclusion. About 50% of the sun-like stars in the Milky Way could serve as a fixed point for potentially habitable planets. Optimistic estimates even assume that the corresponding value amounts to up to 
of these 300 million planets, whose surfaces are very likely to be adorned with liquid water, the nearest are just 20 light years from our Earth. We're already waiting with bated breath to see what other astronomical bombshells will come to light in the future in the course of the Kepler data evaluation. In view of this sensational message, the question arises, have other celestial bodies been discovered in the past that resemble our Earth in their composition? Gliese 581g, Earth's cosmic twin? The answer to this question is yes. Some time ago, the star Gliese 581 became the center of astronomical interest. Scientists discovered that at least six planets rotate around the red dwarf, which is located about 20 light years and thus about 118 trillion miles away from our Earth. One of these celestial bodies, Gliese 581g, was to attract the special attention of space scientists. The terrestrial planet moves around its galactic fixed point within that distance range defined in the world of astronomy as the habitable zone. Specifically, this refers to the distance range from a star within which a celestial body must be located in order for water to exist in a permanently liquid form on the planet's surface. If the galactic object is too far away from its fixed point, its surface will be subjected to icy temperatures, which will cause the water to freeze. If the distance is too short, the surface of the planet becomes so hot that the water evaporates immediately. The precise investigations of the specialists, which extended over a period of altogether 11 years, were finally published in the technical periodical Astrophysical Journal. Gliese 581g represents the cosmic holy grail, if you will, because scientists are united in the fact that parts of the surface of the celestial body have an almost sure probability of containing liquid water. This was the conclusion of astronomers as they examined the orbit of the celestial body, which has a diameter of 1.2 to 1.4 times greater than the Earth and threefold its mass. Gliese 581g needs only 36.6 days to make a complete orbit of its star, clearly shorter than the Earth. Since this cosmic fixed point is a red dwarf, however, which exhibits only one-third of the mass of the Sun, it is still assumed that circumstances favorable to life prevail on Gliese 581g. According to this, the average temperature values on the planet's surface should be comparable with those on our home planet. However, the terrestrial planet orbits its star at a relatively short distance and always has the same side facing its fixed point. We can observe the same phenomenon from Earth whenever we take a look at the Moon at night. As most of you surely already know, we only ever get to see one side of this natural satellite of Earth. Due to this fact, Temperature differences between the day and night side of Gliese 581g are extremely pronounced. Within the transition area of these two zones, however, life-friendly conditions could still prevail. It is indeed possible that living beings once developed on Gliese 581g. If one follows the remarks of some researchers, the planet could even host a large society. The galactic homeland of our solar system, the Milky Way. Finally, we'd like to provide you with another view of our astronomical homeland galaxy, the Milky Way. Do you know why we call the Bard Spiral Galaxy, which is home to billions of other stars and planets in addition to our solar system, the Milky Way of all things? Like many other structures in the universe, the Milky Way also owes its name to a story from Greek mythology. According to this legend, Hercules was brought as a baby to the powerful goddess Hera while the goddess slept, where the exceptionally strong demigod was supposed to drink from her breast milk. When she finally awoke and recoiled, her milk had already poured out across the starry sky, and the legend of the Milky Way was born. Although we have been observing the Milky Way for many centuries, 
which from our earthly vantage point appears like a brightly lit, ribbon-shaped object in the firmament, we still cannot say with certainty how many stars and other celestial bodies exist in the midst of this gigantic galaxy. This is because, while experts scan the night sky constantly for various stars, they see only those that shine brightest. Those structures that hide behind a cloud of dust and gas remain invisible to the eye of space researchers. In order to nevertheless gain an impression of the complete number of stars in the Milky Way, experts use a sophisticated method. They examine the gravitational properties of the observable celestial bodies and draw conclusions about the total mass of the Milky Way. Currently, many researchers believe that our home galaxy contains at least 100 billion stars, of which only 1 billion have been mapped so far. Like practically all structures in our universe, the Milky Way will see its end one day as well. Its predecessors within our galaxy reconfirm the thesis that all objects in space are subject to constant change. In the case of the Milky Way, this means that the galaxy is currently heading towards its astronomical neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, at a speed of almost 250,000 miles per hour. According to researchers' calculations, the Milky Way will arrive at the significantly larger Andromeda Galaxy in about 4 billion years, and will then be absorbed by it. But for now, anyone who has the good fortune to view the Milky Way during a starry night from an area that is not subject to the influences of urban light pollution will never forget this overwhelming sight that shows the full splendor and beauty of our galaxy. We hope you were entertained by our video today. Was there a point in our post that particularly amazed you? Thanks for watching, take care, and see you again soon.